Well, hello there. Welcome to another break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fett Me. And against my better judgment, I picked up a mega box of Series 2 Upper Deck Hockey. I had three in my cart over a week ago and, you know, online at Target. And then I went and I said, you know what? That would be stupid because I can buy a hobby box and get six young guns out of that for basically I mean yeah it'd be three times the price but still it would be much more economical in that manner well I happen to stop at Target in the area where I work before I headed home and lo and behold they had these so these are the target ones as I said and they have 11 packs total and then you get the exclusive red rainbow honor roll in the packs so there's gonna be one of those along with getting the exclusive rookie class so unlike the Walmart ones that have the SP die cuts from the old, the old timey look from 94, 95. This has an original set. So we'll dive into it and hopefully get three young guns. Start off with a really interesting looking portrait of Samuel. Fajimo for the Kings. Next pack. And I'm going to go on a limb and say that we'll get an insert in all but maybe one pack. And this might be the base pack right here. I don't see anything in that one, except for base cards. So hopefully that's the only one. Now we got a World Juniors. World Junior Grads of Mort Sider. For the Detroit Red Wings. And they had all kinds of SP and Allure, Series 2 tins, a canvas of Zach Hyman for the Oilers. So yeah, Series 1 tins, Series 2 tins, Series 2 blasters. They had the hanger packs. Oh, we got an instant impression. Looks like Blake Coleman. So far it seems to me that those are, at least for the tins, you get one a tin. And looks like you might get them one in every mega box. Looks like our first young gun. And it's not Slikovsky. Is going to be Adam. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's just a base card. What? That was another base pack? What? Indeed, it was. Tricked me. So far, not a single young gun. I better start popping up here. Welcome to Welcome to Edmonton postcard Three packs left and not a single young gun. That's a little concerning 
at least they only had one there so I know I won't be going back for more there's our exclusive red rookie class and that looks awesome too bad it's Bobby Brink Well, these final two packs better both have a young gun. I want to tell, say it gives you the odds and says the young guns are one in four packs. Well, I've yet to see one. And we got a canvas. Is it a canvas young gun at least? It is a canvas young gun of Philip Ruse. So I suppose that probably counts as a young gun. Last pack. Last chance for a regular young gun. And it looks bad. Got a Dazzler, a Frederick Karlstrom. So, I would say that was a horrible, horrible, horrible box. No regular young guns. Yes, it was a canvas, but not of a big name. So for our rookie class pack, we get a Andre Kuzmenko for the Vancouver Canucks, we get a Shane Wright, and a Dylan Gunther. So at least this wasn't too horrible. And I think it's a 30 card checklist, I think is what it said. Well, no, it says 15. Oh, yeah, because it's a continuation of Series 1. So it says collect all 15 in the red parallels. Well, I didn't get any red parallels in my pack. So, quick recap. Got the Frederick Carlstrom Blue Dazzler. The Philip Ruse Canvas Young Gun. And the nice red honor roll of Bobby Brink. And then other hits, we'll say, or other polls were the Welcome to Edmonton, Instant Impression, Zach Hyman Canvas, the Mort Sider World Junior Grads, and the Samuel Fajimo for the LA Kings. So yeah, that concludes this break of one mega box of Series 2. Would I recommend buying them? Nope, I wouldn't. But each their own maybe i got just the bad box so anyway hope you all have a great rest of your day and as always keep collecting